Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about basic authentication with a query parameter in Angular. Okay, before we jump to Angular, let's talk about uh, the backend. So what's the setup? So the backend, I use Express here. You can see I just have the standard the cores body parser. Cores allows cross origin resource sharing. Otherwise, your uh, API won't be able to serve anybody outside your domain. Yeah, and this body parser is basically interpreting the parsing the uh, message body, the JSON objects. Yeah. And then I installed this Express Basic Auth. This is a tiny little package that uh, allows um, uh, basic authentication. And you know, the basic authentication is very simple. You username, password, and encode it in the uh, Base64. Uh, super, super easy. Yeah. So here, uh, this is how I use the middleware. The use cores first. That comes before the basic auth. The basic auth constructor is super easy. Just a users with a list of name and password. So here I created two users. Claire and Sue and with the password and uh, yeah, I just use the same password because it's easier for me to memorize my daughter's birthday uh, rather than two different passwords. Yeah, so we have create a service with uh, two usernames. In uh, reality, a lot of times you probably will uh, save these usernames and passwords in the database, but here it's of course just for a demonstration. So I use this uh, very simple Express Basic Auth uh, package. Let's now look at the API endpoint. The endpoint is super simple. It's called uh, the URL slash messages. Uh, if your request has a query parameter name with the value Claire, it will return hello Claire. It returns a JSON object, by the way, uh, called message hello Claire. If the query parameter name is equal to Sue, it will return message how are you Sue. If the query parameter returns, uh, if query parameter name has any other value, it re it returns who are you. So hello Claire, how are you Sue, and who are you? So that's the backend. Uh, so the backend we have two users. Uh, this actually, they share the same password, um, and using this Express Basic Auth uh, package, and uh, of course you need to allow this course uh, to begin with. Then I have endpoint which returns some messages if based on the query parameter name. So if uh, somebody makes a request without the authentication uh, credentials, they will not get anything. They will get a blank, something blank. I'll give you one simple example, uh, localhost uh, 3000. You won't get any message, even though there's a uh, API service at localhost 3000, because you don't have the credentials, you won't get anything. Now, let's look at Angular. Uh, the front, this back end. Let's look at front end. Um, so the front end is fairly straightforward. It's just the standard stuff. If you look at the API service, I have this endpoint. The URL endpoint is saved in URL constant URL. And here we need to slow down a little bit. So in Angular, when you use this HTTP uh, uh, client uh, module, you Need to import three different things: the HTTP client, this which is allows to make those API calls, HTTP headers, and HTTP parameters, params. Yeah. So what happens is that uh, you will create a constant called options. So when you make that HTTP GET request, you will pass both URL and options. The options will have your username, password, and the query parameter. So let's see how the options are constructed. So Headers, which is new HTTP uh, headers, uh, we have two parameters. One, this content type says it's JSON. Okay, I'm expecting some JSON object. And authorization, which is the basic, which is the protocol, basic authentication. And we have username and a password, which, in, which matches the username and the password we set up on the server. Yeah, the username and password has to be stored somewhere on the server, obviously. And this BTOA is the 64 base um, encoding. Yeah, so the for the base basic authentication, you need to encode your username and password separated by a colon, um, and encode the whole thing uh, using the 64 base encoding. Yeah. So authorization basic plus this is the string space plus another string. Um, now the parameters is I use this constructor HTTP params. And you can actually change this set function set name equals Jack. So the first, I do have the valid credentials. Um, my username and password are valid, and uh, I supplied the name, which is neither Sue nor Claire. So it will return the message, "Who are you?" 
let's look at this uh, friend handed. It returns who are you, right? Now let's still use the valid credentials, but instead of using Jack, let's use um, Sue. See what happens. Now it says, how are you, Sue? So the it's valid uh, query parameter, it's valid uh, credential. Um, so it, let's change this to Claire. Now it returns, hello, Claire. Oh, by the way, I forgot one thing. Uh, so this is the service. And this is my uh, get message method. It basically return HTTP get, get the URL and options. And how is it consumed in my home component? There's this uh, import that API service, and this API get messages. I record that message and subscribe, and pass that return JSON object to uh, this message JSON. So this is the very standard drill. I would go really fast. I assume everybody is familiar with this. Um, on my home page, I just uh, consume that thing, message JSON dot message. Um, so that's why you see this guy here. Now, let's change the service a little bit. Let's use a different credential. Let's say instead of using Claire, let's use Jack. And we know that from the front end setup, a back end setup, there is no user called Jack. There are only two valid users, Claire and Sue, with a password. And now if we use Jack, let's see what happens nothing is being displayed if let's press f12 you see their message the server responded with the status 401 unauthorized okay so that's it now let's use a valid account uh, instead of using jack uh, let's use uh, sue remember the sue and Clara are valid and the password is the same because i don't want just retype the password waste, wasting the time now with the valid user account you will see hello claire yeah because here, even though we use Sue to lock to as the credentials, the name parameter is clear. Now let's change it to Sue. Now we should change to how are you, Sue? So so this is the Angular's base, basic authorization. Um, so you can see the key is here. Create a variable called options, and you you uh, configure the headers with this authorization. Configure the parameters. And you pass these options to your HTTP get method. So this is optional because by default this line is optional because by default you are receiving your JSON object. Yeah. Uh, but this part is mandatory. You need to use basic concatenate space concatenate with another string, and that other string is your username and a password separated by this uh, colon, and then you convert them to the base64 uh, strings encoding. Yeah, base64 encoding. So it's fairly simple. Um, okay, uh, that's it. Uh, thank you.